Okay, good morning everyone. Good morning. I will explain about infrared temperature measurement. The reason I choose to be the last person after JP and Nelson is because they have the similar explanation like their equipment that they explain. The equipment may contact with the object to be measured. While this infrared temperature is a non-contact equipment. This is a very simple one and most people prefer this one because infrared temperature can measure the object that is hard to be reached by the other thermometer because it's a non-contact and it can measure the moving object and the application of this equipment is very <coughs> modern I still remember when Nelson and I went to do some job in in Bayunda and that was the first time I saw the infrared that equipped with the camera so uh, it just it not only measure the temperature it actually taking the picture and it can save in that uh, thermometer and then it can also transfer to the computer so it's very modern very sophisticated we all use this equipment but how is the measurement can happening in a small equipment like the infrared because the one that I draw here is like a shotgun it's very simple to use very easy and when we use this type of infrared we sometimes confuse it with the lesser point the red one including me so because first I thought that that uh, lesser is the one that measure the temperature but the fact is not that lesser is just like the pointer it's, it's the same like sometimes when people do the presentation they use the pen and that has laser yeah it's just it's exactly the same like that it's not measuring anything so how an infrared thermometer can measure the temperature of an object. First of all, we should know the definition. Infrared thermometer measures temperature by detecting the infrared energy that emitted by the object to be measured at the temperature above absolute zero. So through this definition, firstly we should know this statement. Detecting IR energy emitted by all material. So in this planet, all the material, including person, you and me and the chairs, all the materials emit the infrared energy every second at temperature above absolute zero. With this condition, to create a, a very smart equipment like infrared thermometer, after I read about the infrared temperature, this equipment is actually only sit there and detect what is already there. And um, the basic design of this infrared therm uh, thermometer is uh, equipped by with lens to collect all the infrared energy that emitted by the object, and also the detector. That detector will. Uh, convert the infrared energy to electrical signal and then display in the in the display and also the emissivity adjustment and the ambient temperature compensation circuit the emissivity adjustment to match the infrared thermometer to the uh, characteristic of the object because different object have different emissivity like object with the bright color emit the strong and stronger energy than the black color why it's because of the character of the that object and then the ambient temperature compensation circuit to ensure that the ambient temperature are not transferred by the output of this equipment so it it will make sure that it will only show us the temperature of this equipment that we want to measure, not including the ambient temperature.
And I think the advantages of this agreement I already told you in the beginning of this presentation. And this is the image of the very common IR thermometer. This one that I think we use in platform is manufactured by Fluke. Fluke. Yeah. yeah. So there is a material in front of us and how it actually capture the IR. This is the um, range of the lens because the infrared is actually go straight line. Maybe I should have Okay, so um, all the material at temperature above absolute uh, zero always emit infrared energy and the energy go in a straight line so the the infrared thermometer because it equipped with a lens so it will capture all the infrared energy that emitted by this um, object for example this is metal so when we use this um, equipment, we should consider the what what material that we we will measure. If it is big, then we have to go closer to the material because with the same this uh, we, with the same diameter of a lens, if we are closer, then the area that we measure will be wide. And when we are uh, far away, and it will become smaller. But don't worry. I think uh, there are so many, there are var variety types of uh, this infrared thermometer in the market. So we can choose based on what we need. Is there a like? Does the manufacturer sort of um, recommend or outline? The distance you should be from yeah. the object? The distance should mm -hmm. be 10 and 1. It means this uh, the ideal distance is 10 feet when the material, the height of the material is 1 feet. Mm. Yeah, this is the ideal the one. Ratio. The ratio, yeah, yeah the ratio. ratio. So I think I've talked so much about it. Thank you. Is there any question or how long do you have to does it take how long does it take to take a reading? Oh yeah. That is one of the many advantages of IR thermometer. It is very fast. Mm. If the measurement requires fast response we use IR because it can uh, measure 0.3 seconds. It's very fast. Yeah. So when you do the, do the temperature measurement, are there spe specific places that you have to use? Because you mentioned about the emissivity adjustment. Do you have like test points or places or just anywhere? Yeah. It can be in anywhere. Even though in the cool, coolest place, I think it's not. Um, it doesn't matter mm. because um, zero, absolute zero de uh, degree is like minus two hundred and seventy three point one five mm -hmm. degrees Celsius. Means it's even in the temperature is very cold, the object still emit the um, IR energy. Or, if the emissivity is not too strong, inside of this equipment, there is a amplifier to amplify the, the, the signal. What was it that at work that you measured 
with the IR detector. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so that's the. Oh, it's uh, in there, then we use the IR infrared uh, 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 to test the temperature. We go to the, like, uh, in the distribution board. Okay. And we measure the, because we are at the at the moment, yeah. we measure the uh, why the, the why is like this, uh, how, how many temperature yeah. in there. In the the so we have to know. The temperature yeah. of the carrier. Yeah. Okay. So we visit our other customers. So we so bought all the jaws when we uh, went there. So we need it inside the cabin, the distribution board. Yeah. We check the, like the good password, <coughs> why, and a lot of stuff that we check. And what sort of accuracy does it measure to? You know, like to a couple of decimal places, or when you get the readout from so when, when you did that job, what was the sort of readout that you had as the temperature? One, one decimal place. Just a, yeah, just by how much like, So you have degrees Celsius, mm -hmm. but then does it go to one or two decimal places, or just to degrees Celsius? Uh, this one is the digital one, mm -hmm. I think. What, from what I saw in the picture, it has two. two. Two, two decimal yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think the, it depends the, the the unit that we use. The, the unit you choose. No. But yeah, the, the, sometimes they, you because we, that's the uh, multi-function, like multi-function. Oh, the big one. That yeah, big one, one, yes. Yeah. But you can do the gaze, you can do like parallel, like this. It's depends the mm. yeah, you yeah, choose. If you talk about it, about the word infrared, <coughs> so can you explain a bit between this about what's the meaning of infrared? Like red, I know that red is the color, and in, in physics, I saw the red laser on that. Can you just explain a little bit about infrared? What's, what's infrared? It's in common words. Infrared. Infra. Infra. Infrared is a, a particular like yeah. ra range, range of wavelengths on the spectrum of light and photons. Because yeah. we have it's, it's outside of their visible light, which is a <coughs> small range. And infrared and other ultraviolet. You know, these are um, different um, yeah, a range of like frequency almost. Yeah. Of light. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's true. It's infrared is one of uh, it's in the spectrum. Like we have X ray. Oh, that was uh, Oh, you can uh, it's like uh, yeah. yes. it's a very interesting. Oh yeah. Infrared. Yeah, that one. Infrared. Sorry, this will be cut off. Yeah, it's um. Yeah. 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 It's um. If we see in the handbook, it's one of the. It's it's a part of the spectrum. Like in the spectrum, we have X-ray and. Yeah. It's a wavelength spectrum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who can use that next part? Yeah. Yeah, it's a electromagnetic spectrum. One of the electromagnetic spectrum is infrared when the wavelength is between 0 0.7 micron to a thousand, thousand micron. Yeah. 
because infrared is one of the electromagnetic spectrum. That is why we we can detect it because it's in the it's here. It's among us. So, so we talk about infrared. So in in uh, also <coughs> like, uh, e, it is a little bit outside, but it, IR IR gas detector. It is, it is same as infrared uh, or not? IR. Yeah, IR. I think after I read this, I think that's why I, it's just um, change my my state of mind, my mindset. Yeah. I thought infrared is something. It's uh, it's a ray that transmitted by the equipment, mm. but it is not the infrared. Like me, I also have infrared. Maybe now the infrared is emitted mm. <laughs> through uh, outside. Uh, yeah, but so it is not same with the. Uh, yeah, but no, I think the infrared the gas detector <coughs> is it um, it detect the. Infrared from the gas. Is it is it a is gas it detector or a heat detector? Gas gas detector. Infrared. The, gas detector. Gas. the line of sight. Yeah. The line of sight. The line of sight. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah, the code. Yeah, yeah, gas detector. Because I remember. Gas and flame. <laughs> when you type something related to infrared. Oh, infrared is a long always, side. Yeah. Always, I, uh, yeah. yeah. Always they make it short. And uh, yeah. Infrared. Uh, infrared. So maybe, maybe the gas interferes with. Mm, but the, the infrared gas, the line of sight detector, you have a transmitter and receiver that's bouncing that light between yeah. the two points. Yeah. And then when something like the gas Block. comes up, that's when it blocks that signal, mm -hmm. changes that signal, and that's, that's how that's operating. Mm -hmm. so that's why with the line of sight, you need to be careful, you can't. Break your hand in front of it because there's this infrared. Yeah, and you, you'll, you'll break that yeah. that, that, that beam. Yeah, sensor. Sensor. Maybe. Right. You did. Yeah, me and uh, last year and me. Awesome. But we had the uh, most. Ah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's why I put it on. He didn't confirm with the control room. Sure. Ah. This year, that uh, we, because there's the, the uh, line of sight, uh. and we put the six there. And take out the light, the ah, tools, yeah, yeah. the operator, the port, the But we apply the post oh, yeah. okay. yeah. okay. So, uh, uh, I just asked about the it's safe uh, radiation, radiation in the system, like uh, maybe thermal radiation or something. But it's uh, like danger for the, uh, the people or, or the material we apply the infrared. Like infrared, <coughs> infrared itself is a, one, uh, a part of thermal radiation. So it, uh, it's a, you get someone. Yeah. yeah. It's only detecting, it's not, yeah. it's not, so it's not emitting, it's. Okay. Is detecting what you're reading, so that I can measure your temperature. Yeah. It, it's not pushing anything onto you. It's reading what you oh. are giving off. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So they in in the like they like they when they in the observe they do the uh, radioactive uh, activity. Radioactive. Oh, radioactive. Right. Is there, because the uh, the the uh, old people must take away because it's 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 so it is done there for that's different. That's mm -hmm. radio. That's at the other end. But but uh, one thing I think the the the, the point the way don't put it to you the, like your friend or you. But you don't put it in the eyes of that. Because it's a laser. Yeah, yeah. 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 And radiography is different. Radiography is almost <laughs> like kind of like a yeah. Radiography is yeah. not an X-ray, but it is. It's, it's going deep. It's, it's, it's penetrating in, so it's actually having a look at the material. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we need to start. Why not? Thank you. Yeah. Do we have it? No, no, I'll work. I'll work. Talk to you in a minute. Why do you use it? <coughs> okay, I think my performance is done.
Thank you very much for your participation. Thanks. Thank you.